Hello, I'm Jason Higginbotham, optometrist and managing editor here at Myopia Focus. Myopia, also known as short-sightedness, um, really is just where light is brought into focus in front of the retina by the lens and the cornea of the eye. And that means that there's a point at some point in front of the eye that will be nice and clear, hence the term short-sightedness or near-sightedness. But it means that distance vision is very, very blurred in many, many cases. It doesn't need a particularly high prescription to make distance vision quite difficult. Only, for example, for driving, a smallish prescription would mean you'd legally have to wear glasses. But myopia is a lot more than that, we now realise, and it's not just a refractive error. It's an eye condition, really, that can have significant long-term risks for, for sight in the future and can lead to a whole range of, of quite damaging eye conditions. High myopia is often defined, unfortunately in many ways, by the prescription, anything over what we call minus six diopters as an effective sphere as we call it, is considered as high myopia. And the problem with high myopia is it, it really does massively increase the risk of sight threatening conditions later in life. Uh, and so the higher the myopia that you are left with as, as, a, as an adult, the higher your risk of the complications that can occur, like cataract, glaucoma, myopic macular degeneration, retinal detachment, and many, many others. And so the lower the prescription in adult life, the lower that risk. And that's the whole point of myopia management, is the intervention will hopefully reduce the adult prescription, shall we say, later in life. And the lower that prescription, as I've mentioned, the better the prognosis for that patient. Another point about high myopia really is it's a long axial length that is the problem. You could have somebody who has a very high prescription in diopters, but it's caused by a steeply curved cornea. And although it's inconvenient, the risk to their vision, because they've got maybe a normal length eye, isn't that high. It's the axial myopia that certainly seems to be the biggest problem. And so really, high myopia might need another definition, perhaps, where it's a specific axial length over a certain size, over, say, 27 millimetres, for example, whatever it may be, might be considered as high myopia in a different form. High axial length is really what it is. No longer should myopia be simply dealt with by correcting glasses or contact lenses. It is now considered a duty of care to do what we can to help to slow the rate and amount of progression of myopia in all children and young adults. The benefit is a significantly improved prognosis for long-term eye health. The importance of the future eyesight of your child is priceless. Myopia Focus can help you find out more about myopia and provide you with valuable advice and guidance. So, please look around our site and then find and speak to a myopia specialist near you.